Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you how I put together these swags that I put on my front door using the $1 Christmas trees from the Dollar Tree. Before I get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the little notifications bell. All right, let's get started with the supplies you're gonna need for this project. First, you're gonna need two of the dollar store $1 Christmas trees for each swag that you wanna make. I ended up buying eight of the trees cause I wanted to make a few of them, as well as one of these plastic vases from the Dollar Tree. Now I saw these and I thought I could definitely use these in this project. I really loved the shape of it. I also found some of this burlap ribbon that has the really pretty holly berry print on it. And I also have some of this wired um, kind of gold burlap ribbon that I used in a different project. So whatever ribbon you want, you're gonna need about nine feet of it per um, swag if you want a big nice size bow. Then I also have some floral foam and this is actually a piece cut in half um, I also have one of these little battery operated LED lights that you can just push on and off it comes in a two pack from the Dollar Tree so I'm going to use one for each swag as well as um, some wire clips and a metal coat hanger now I'm also using this floral wire as well um, and then I'm going to also be using some of the wired garland ties that come from the Dollar Tree in addition to a few other Dollar Tree picks. Now these little miniature gold balls came in the long tube from Dollar Tree. They actually were on sale for 50 cents a tube because I kind of am getting them late in the season and I'm also using some of the little jingo bells that came from Dollar Tree. Now you're also going to need plenty of hot glue for this project so I'm heating mine up now let's get started okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be clipping off one of the side pieces of my wire coat hanger I'm gonna use this as the hanging portion that's gonna stick in the floral foam at the top of my swag the wire coat hangers I got from Walmart in a pack of 10 for like very inexpensive maybe like a couple dollars and I took a floral foam and I cut it in half the long way so it's a little bit thinner and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wired coat hanger I'm gonna kind of pinch it together and I'm gonna push it down into that floral foam as far as it can go and then I'm gonna take a little bit of hot glue and glue it right into place just to make sure that it's going to hold really sturdy Next, we're gonna take our Christmas trees out of the box and we don't need the little stand that they're gonna stand on so you can get rid of those as well as the bottom piece that just pulls off. And we're going to take all of the flocking on the Christmas tree and pull it to one side. It should be pretty easy to do. And once you have it all pulled to one side, you're just gonna repeat this with the second Christmas tree that you have. Just pull all of the flocking to the opposite side because we're gonna put the center pieces together and attach them with some of the floral wire. You could also use wired garland ties if you want to, if you have extras. Um, that would just give the flocking a little bit more fullness, but for now I'm just using the regular floral wire. And I'm going to attach it in three different spots. I'm gonna wrap it around the bottom portion, or actually it's gonna be the top portion, quite a few times, and then I'm gonna twist that into place. And then I'm gonna do the same thing around the middle of the swag, and then again at the top of the swag. Next, I'm gonna take my block of floral foam and on the opposite side from the hanger, I'm just going to take the ends of my swag and push it into the foam as far as it goes. And then I'm gonna pull it out again and put some hot glue in the little holes that I made. And this is just gonna assure that your swag will stay in place really well. Now you can go back in and fluff out all of your greenery just to make it look a little bit fuller. I'm actually pulling it upwards so it gets closer to the floral foam. I'm gonna take my hot glue and add it right to the bottom portion of my plastic vase that I have here. You wanna use plenty of it because this is going to attach to the front side of your swag. 
and then just glue that vase down on top of your greenery as close to the floral foam as possible. Next, I'm gonna take some of the berries off of my picks and I'm going to hot glue these in just random spots around my swag. I'm also gonna do the same thing with some of the pine cones. And now I'm also gonna take some of the gold Christmas balls and hot glue those in the little clusters of berries and pine cones just to add a little bit more sparkle to the project. And I'm also gonna add a few of my little gold jingle bells. I'm going back in with some of my garland ties and just filling in some of my empty spaces with the garland just to fill in any open gaps that the swag might have. You can also do this before you attach the plastic vase, which might be easier. I actually did it that way with the first one I made. I forgot to do it with this one. So I'm going in after and filling in the gaps now. Now I'm taking my little battery operated LED light and I'm pulling the sticker off the back portion of it. These do have a sticker that is attached to it normally, but I'm gonna apply a good amount of hot glue to this and then that is going to stick up inside my plastic vase and you can just reach up in there and push the light on and off. Finally, I'm gonna make a big bow to go on the top of each one of my swags. I'm actually using nine feet of ribbon. I'm using the dollar store burlap ribbon as well as another wired gold ribbon. And I'm folding these in about one foot loops and I'm just gonna keep wrapping these loops um, over each other. I'm, as you can see, I've layered the ribbon up one on top of the other. I'm gonna use up all of the nine feet of the dollar store ribbon and when that runs out, I'll just cut the other ribbon. Once you have your ribbon all in loops, flatten it out and bend it in half so you have even loops on both sides, and then cut two small slits um, just to break the wire. And you don't wanna go all the way through just a small slit on both sides. You're actually gonna put wire, floral wire in this area and tie it together and that's what's gonna hold your bow together. I'm wrapping my floral wire around my ribbon about five or six times and then I'm going to twist it and knot it at the top and then once it's um, securely held together I can take my ribbon loops and pull them all apart. When all your ribbon loops are pulled apart, you can fluff and shape the bow however you like. I wanna actually keep a little flat side on one side so that way I can glue it to the floral foam. I'm also gonna hot glue another pine cone and a little red poinsettia right to the front of my bow, just above my little plastic vase light, and this will finish off my swag. All right, friends, so here they are. I attached them to the front side panel windows on my front door. I think they came out so pretty. This is a great alternative if you don't have exterior lights on the front of your house. You can just reach up in and turn these on and off. They're LED battery operated, and when it's time to change the battery, you just twist the little lamp on the inside and it comes out and you can attach the batteries. Super easy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.